In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy recipe for your barbacoa using your crock pot. You want to start off with about anywhere between four to four and a half pounds of barbacoa, which is in this instance, I'm using beef cheek. The next ingredient you want to get is half an onion. You're going to get two cloves of garlic, two bay leaves, and about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of kosher salt. All we're going to do here is we're going to remove the uh, the shell from the the garlic, open up the beef cheek packages, try your best to take out at least some of the uh, non-rendable fat. The more you take out now, the less you'll have to take out after it comes out. And you'll know it's re non-rendable because it's kind of like um, whiter and it's just solid so if you feel that that can be removed we're gonna go ahead and throw your four and a half pounds of beef cheeks into the crock pot we're going to add that bay leaves the the half an onion and the garlic cloves with the kosher salt you're gonna run your crock pot on high for eight hours now just be careful because this happened to me i ran my crock pot put it on high went to go sleep didn't know this but after four hours it shuts off by itself so you got to make sure you come back and uh either turn it on for another four hours or if you have a setting where it says stay on for eight uh eight hours the the key here is that it needs to be on the duration of the time so that it can really soften your the meat This is the next morning. You just go ahead and start pulling out your bay leaves, your onions, put it off to the side, and then um, go ahead and grab some of your barbacoa. It should be kind of like falling apart on its own. Get a couple of forks. You can, uh, I guess, uh, unravel it as much as possible. Take some of the fat that is still there. You can take some of that fat off so it's not as greasy. Now we're gonna go ahead and plate this. Um, use a couple of tortillas. You can use, uh, Flour or corn. Traditional is corn. I'm using flour this time. And what I like to do as well is um, I like to to um, I like to fry some uh, potatoes, hand cut potatoes. That's just something that I do. And uh, the one, the thing I didn't do here, but you can also include, is uh, you can cut up with the other half of the onion that you didn't use. You can cut that up and some cilantro. You can put that on there and go to town on this. Let me know what you think about this recipe. This has been The Smoking Beer. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.